I'm Pierce Alexander Lilholt. I'm about to be cleaning the boat. So I'm out here on floaty boat. The bottom is looking pretty nasty. So what's different about this cleaning than any other cleaning? Well, for one, we're gonna try out we're gonna try out the super long snorkel. So I had this idea for a super long snorkel. I explained this to somebody. They said to me, uh, there's no way super long snorkel's gonna work because however many atmospheres of pressure happen, the lower you go. And I don't know how true that is, but got a huge thing of hosing here. Let's get this opened up. And if I had somebody up here to hold it, I'd have them just hold it as I went along, but since nobody is here, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple zip ties up. Um, put, a, put a couple zip ties up on the uh, top of it. Okay, let's see what do I got here. I've got I've got a brush like this to clean with. Um, I've got a brush like this. This one has a scraper on the back. Just scrape what needs scraping. Um, got the snorkel here. It's a Cressy. I'll put a link in the description of this. Uh, the tubing I got from Lowe's, so that should be that should be pretty good. So essentially I'm just going to take this, since I measured the inner diameter of this and the outer diameter of this, put these two things together like this. And go kind of deep on there. And you're probably thinking, oh, is this uh, going to be airtight? I, my guess would be no. So I think I even have some. I do have some uh, self-fusing silicon tape here. This stuff is awesome. So, this tape, when you use this self-fusing silicon tape, you have to stretch it as you attach it. Everybody's out boat today with their power boats. No sailboats though, because there's no wind. So when there's no wind, all the power motors come out. Sailboaters stay home. I thought no wind, fairly hot day, perfect day to do this. Clean in the boat. So as you can see, I'm, I'm stretching this. started a little high on it, so I could, um, So it has some extra space to seal this. So when I get in there, the main objective is to, to use the brushes to try to remove as much of the growth as I can and to absolutely clean the rudder off. And this should help me get to the keel. Now, 
I'm also going to, uh, in the cabin there, I have uh, goggles, like swim goggles. I'm gonna be wearing those, so Dad will be able to see under there because this is the, the dirty Delaware. <laughs> Not that it's that dirty, it's just um, got a lot of brown silt on it, so it's uh, very brown. say that's probably overkill so I'm just gonna save the rest of this tape for something else cut it and then this last little bit you're gonna want to really when you wrap this you're gonna want to make sure this is super tight great thing about this tape not only is it totally watertight, I've known it to be airtight as well. So there we go. Now we have this seal on here, and this is really stuck in place there. So it should hold this whole tube no matter how I'm moving. Now the other thing I'm going to do this tube, since I'm going to be going underwater, is this, this side, which I had thought about putting a float on it or something, but I don't know how well that would work. Instead, I put these zip ties here. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to work in sections. So, take a couple of these big zip ties. And I'm going to zip tie these around the top really, 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 really tight. As tight as I can. It doesn't seem like that's sliding up or down at all. And now I'm going to make a few rings of these. So if one does happen to slip, it'll get caught by the next one. This last, this last one, I'm going to put a last one I made a little loop so you see these will catch it if this starts sliding up it'll catch this one that one and hopefully that doesn't come off there might even put a little piece of tape around it this tape here. Um, and that'll keep it from, from sliding off the last thing you want to do is be in the water and then have this uh, slide off so this. There's no way it's getting past this. And for some reason I have a feeling it will. And then what I'll do is I'll clip this onto the bottom of uh, one of the stanchions here. So I'll, I'll use like a, see, like a, a shackle or a uh, go and take this. Now I can clip that right onto any rail I want anything. And now it's going to hold it right up here out above the water line. And I can just move this along as I'm using it. Okay, so this is one of the things that's going to help me breathe underwater. Um, I've got the brush other brush they have these little holes at the top I'm gonna tie a uh, something to hold this onto my wrist or onto my uh, tight pocket here and something so I don't lose these if I drop them because I, I'm not sure if they float or not yet I'm thinking they don't and Here. And a couple 
couple more steps. step will be to, I was going to say cut some line, but this might actually be just about the right size of line in order for us to actually, it's pretty long. Maybe I will cut it. Basically, I only need a boat length, so go to the bow. back here at the stern. I want to make sure this goes at least the full length of the boat. And I'll put a little slack on it since I um, might want to swim around or under or anything like that. So Just a little slack. Cut this line. I like this knife blade for cutting lines. This is actually just an anchor line. And I don't usually uh, do anything with the end here besides to keep it from fraying, I tie a little single hitch right there. Just that, it's not gonna fray past there. Okay, so now that line is ready for swimming. And I'll probably end up, uh, I don't know, tying a little loop or something. I always do like this knot. fold it over, go through the hole, just like a single hitch, but you fold it in half. So you know this knot, where you just do that and pull it through. It's basically that same thing, but you fold it in half first. Pull it through. Now you got a loop. Now I need a nice size loop for my hands, uh, or for whatever I feel like putting this on. There we go. Now I could be working. If I need to grab this, I got it. And I could pull myself back into the boat. Last step before I, uh, before I go in and start cleaning is, you see the, uh, you see the swim ladder there? That goes in. Actually, there is one last step. step is grab a towel. Bring your towel out before you need to um, before you need to go back in the cabin. And here's some of these uh, goggles. These actually have my prescription in them. They um, sell them on Amazon. I'll see if I can find a link to these. But they work well because I'm, like these have prescription in them. You're going to want to see maybe if you can. So See if I can find a link to that, a link to the um, to the snorkel. If you want a link to anything else, let me know. I'll try to find it for you. But I think now 
this time. I bet you thought this was an old timey bathing suit. It's actually just a shirt. And that's a James Bond bathing suit. Okay, so I think the last step of this is to is to get wet. Probably should do this last month. It is absolutely freezing. Whoa. But I was prepared for that mentally. <laughs> oh, yeah.